Hello everyone. I hope you are doing great today. In today's video, we are going to discuss about content approval in SharePoint Online List or Library. The same thing will work in SharePoint 2013, 2016 or 2019 also. But if you are coming first time to this channel, let me welcome you to the channel and you can click on the subscribe icon to subscribe to the channel where you can get lot of free videos on SharePoint, Office 365, Power Platform, SPFX and all these things. So now let's get started. So first of all, let us understand what is content approval. SharePoint allows you to set up a required approval in SharePoint online list or library. And whenever the new items will be uploaded or will be created, it will be on the pending state until it will be approved and rejected by the approver. Now, if you have a list or library which contains some sensitive information, then you might want the item to be approved before it will be visible or available to other users. And there we require content approval. Now, let me open a SharePoint list. So, if I will open here, you can see here this is a SharePoint online list and it has couple of items on this. And if I will add any item now, this item will be available to other users. For example, I have logged in with another user. You can see here I have logged in with user Bhavna here and that user can see all the items from this particular SharePoint list. Now, what I want here is it I should I will enable the content approval so that whenever I'll create an item or any user will create an item that will not be visible to other users or uh, instantly or automatically. So it should go for an approval and then once it is approved, then it will be visible to the user. And the, if the user rejected it, then the item will be in the uh, rejected list and it will not be appear to any user. So for that, what we will do here is, um, I'll go to the settings icon or you can see the gear icon and here you can find list settings. And the same feature is available on the libraries also. We will check in the list and the same will uh, work as it is in the libraries. So click on list settings and also if you are using classic list, this functionality also is available. And the only thing is instead of this command bar or from the gear icon, you can simply go to the list settings page from the ribbon. So now if you will see here, click on versioning settings in the list settings page. And here you can see the first option which is saying that content approval and you can say yes we require content approval for submitted items. And also you can select the, this option create a version each time you edit an item in this list. But the important here is draft item security and here you have couple of op options here. Any user who can read the items they can see the draft version and then only user who can edit items they can see the draft version that means if you have the edit permission to this particular list then you can see this item or the last option which is valid uh, most cases i want only users who can approve the items and the author of this item they can see these items that means the draft item they can see it so you can see uh, i will select the last option and click on ok the moment I click on OK and I will go to the SharePoint list. Now you can see here if I will just tell you or show you the last column. Here one column added which is known as approval status and all the items are all automatically approved. That means since these items are exist already, so it automatically approved here. Now apart from that, if you will click on all items, you can see couple of more views on this. For example, approve or reject items where you can see the approve and reject items in group wise and then my submission where you can see all your items that you have submitted. And uh, so this is how two more views it has been added. And all the items are, uh, all these items are already up to approved. Now let me go and refresh the, uh, the page which is actually you can see here the user also can see of which are the items approved so all these approved items the user can see it here so what i'll do is we will go here and cre create one more item so i will say spo training 
and uh, then I'll put something over here let's say duration this much and uh, I will click on save so once you save this item you can see now this is the last item you can see this one this is what we created now and if you look at the status it is saying pending let me open the views now if I will just click over here and approve reject items I will be able to see that there are couple of items which are already approved and this item is pending state so any user having uh, approval permission they can go and approve it now let me open the other user you can see here I uh, open the other user even if I'll refresh this list that user is not able to see the last item which we created as PO1 so all other approved items the user can only see it now what I'll do here is I will go here I will click on this item and then you can see here more and then approve or reject I hope now you will be able to see it here you can see approve or reject here once you click on approve or reject you have the option three options are there you can approve it you can reject it and you can pending you can make it to the pending state now suppose I will make it approved I can put some comment here for example it is approved and I will click on OK so once I click on OK you can see here now the status is uh, approved and you can see the comments also approve our comments and uh, this is this there is another column it got added and you can see the comments over here now let me go to the other user now if I will refresh it here in fact without refreshing you can see here the last item SPO training and this is the status is approved so the user can see this column now this is really a very important functionality that can be very very much helpful when your HR team are working or your finance team are working and they want the documents or the items should be approved or should be reviewed by someone before it will be available for the other users now this is about the content approval in SharePoint list or library if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to the channel as I said before you will get lot of free tutorials on this thank you and have a nice day see you in other videos